Well, hello, this is Rick Naranjo and Derek Mast hello. with Tech Tips from Paradise Energy Solutions. This particular tip is aimed more towards our larger uh, commercial or industrial customers. You may have times when you or your investor might require what is called insulation resistance testing. So we did some study on insulation resistance testing and actually talked with Megger who makes our insulation resist resistance testing instruments. And we found that there's something to be aware of that, that we are teaching our guys. By the way, make sure whenever you do insulation resistance testing that you're wearing your proper personal protective equipment like properly rated insulated gloves. And in this case, we have our hard hats and safety glasses on. Um, so insulation resistance testing is designed to detect any type of uh, removal of insulation from the you know, when you're pulling wire uh, into a piece of conduit. And so in this case, to train ourselves, we did that ourselves. We created a piece of wire with a, with a fault in it, and then we took a piece of EMT conduit, and we actually bent it because we are, we're going to put some water in here later. This is a piece of dry conduit, so we're going to put this, this damaged insulation in this conduit, and then we're going to perform the test. And uh, Derek, if you don't mind, I've got the, the Megger Absolutely. already set, o set up over there. One of the things that we want to make sure you do during your test is you want to have both ends of your wire, in this case this is PV wire, uh, exposed. They can't be uh, connected to anything. And so the end that we're not testing in, in for this trial uh, is, is wrapped in uh, properly rated insulated tape. So we're going to connect our insulation resistance tester. Uh, the red lead is going to go on the copper conductor. And then we're going to put the black lead on the conduit and we're going to set our insulation resistance test instrument to uh, 500 volts and then we're going to perform the test and what's our result uh, we're seeing um, 100 gig ohms 100 over 100 gig ohms. over 100 gig ohms so for standard standard commercial uh, performance one meg ohm is considered satisfactory so 100 gig ohms would be considered a completely acceptable test mm -hmm. and yet we know that there's a piece of damaged insulation in here and that's because the, the, the exposed copper is not able to touch the metal. Now, and that's often the case for new installations. Now, so what we discovered is we're gonna do this test again. And uh, thank you, Derek. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, I have a couple of just regular tap water. We're gonna put some tap water in this conduit and we're gonna take that damaged section. We're gonna push it through to where we know it's kind of at the, where the water's gonna gather. And go ahead, Derek, we're just gonna put some water in there. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't do this at home. <laughs> so basically what the water's doing, it's creating a, uh, a path of uh, continuity between the conduit and the, the uh, conductor we're testing. And this might happen, for example, if you've pulled wire um, and then it's been in the field, you know, in operation for, you know, several, um, you know, several months and water and, and silt can get into conduit. And so in this case, we're gonna do the same test, and so uh, we're gonna see what happens here. Oh, oh okay. We're down to 0 0.06 mega ohms. So in this case, the, the instrument detected the fault, and so our point in, in sharing this with you is that um, if your institution or your, your engineering department requires insulation resistance testing, or if you find that maybe once your system has been installed, you're getting faults and uh, tripping circuit breakers or blowing fuses and you're wondering how could that happen if we had good insulation resistance tests it could be because you have a flaw in the conductor but uh, there's no way for the uh, fault to go from the conductor to the, uh, the the conduit and if you're using pvc conduit for example that may not that may never show up until the fault uh, crosses over to another conductor so Thanks for listening to today's tech tip from Paradise Energy Solutions.